What's up, everybody? James Duggan here. Joining me is Miranda Sanchez at E3 Hello. 2018, and you and I are going to react to Fallout 76. It's online. My ears perked up like a dog. I'm super excited. What was your reaction? It is everything I wanted. Like, since these rumors have propping up, since we first heard about 76, this is perfect. Like, every announcement, every aspect of this, I thought was hoping for, and then they added more that so, I didn't expect. let's address some concerns for folks who are bound to be concerned. The single-player focus folks, the RPG, narrative focus people, what are they going to get out of Fallout 76? Well, you can still play it alone. I mean, I don't think you really want to play it alone because it is built to be a multiplayer game, but it is really nice But us just saying, hey, you can still play Fallout 76 solo if you want. So how does a multiplayer work? Uh, there's kind of a weird phasing thing. There's no like server list. What do you think? Yeah, so you just jump into a game. Um, there's supposed to be a few dozen people in it. It's not gonna be hundreds or whoever knows how many it could be. Um, so it's gonna be a little bit smaller, um, except the map is still huge because it's four times the size of Fallout 4's map. So there's gonna be a lot of room to roam, a lot of cool things to do. And then of course you can team up with your friends. You can build bases, you can progress in terms of your gear. That's really exciting. No VATs, so that's a very big gameplay change. Yes, and it, that makes a lot of sense too because if it is multiplayer, having VATs would be really weird. Like of course you're not gonna have like mysterious stranger skills or any of that, but a lot of the core follow-up things are there. The entire time, and I guess this is just kind of the way that my mind works, I was trying to liken it to other games. Initially yeah. I was like, shared world shooter, Destiny. And I was like, no wait, this is kind of more like Rust. And for yes. those of you who haven't played Rust, uh, it's an open world survival game where you can build a house, you respawn in the house. It kind of turns into this factional warfare. I actually met our coworker Brandon Tyrell in Rust, and yeah, it's kind of weird. So like having those elements come together is just gonna make for such an awesome event, I think. I heard a fun illusion about Rust. Apparently Jeff Kaplan, uh, creative director on Overwatch, plays for nine hours a day. <laughs> Confirm or deny, Jeff. All right, Miranda, I have two more questions. The first of which being, what do you think happens when you kind of reach the end game? And by that, I don't mean like Destiny's raid end game. I mean more, <laughs> you've uh, exhausted all the quest content there is, explored all the world. What do you think you do at that point? Uh, you launch some nukes, Ooh, <laughs> maybe. Uh, good that's, transition. That could actually happen also <laughs> while you're playing. So that was one thing I didn't really expect is like, hey, we kind of expect this to be like a Rust-like survival or a, as they put it, a soft core survival Their game. Their words, not ours. Yeah, and I kind of like that because you, you get that you're going to be building bases, maybe making friends, making enemies. What happens is like you keep a progression, as you said, which is awesome, but also you can just like reset places in the world by launching nukes. And to do that, you need to get the nuke codes and then maybe work with other people to get them or steal them from other groups of people if you have to. And I think just the whole idea around that is so cool. It and is like a so nice, cool. Like event to work into. Um, and uh, there's been some criticism of it online of like, well, this isn't like making sense in Fallout because Fallout nukes are obviously the bad thing. And people are like, well, what happened to all the nukes? It's like, oh, the settlers beforehand launched them all. It's us idiots. So, yeah, the final <laughs> thing is we're coming out of Vault 76. We're the first to enter yeah. this pre-wasteland. And I guess we're the ones who maybe make the wasteland, but that is such a cool emergent thing to add to drive players to an, an interesting point and make them fight. PvP. I'm super excited. Are you excited? Oh, yes, absolutely. I hope that you at home are excited. If you are, make sure you check out everything Fallout 76 and Fallout in general on IGN.com.